here. What is wrong with you? How dare you double cross my intellect? I was going to your office to warn you over your newfound pastime. Blackmailing gossip. And what the hell are you talking about? Jennifer, what did you tell Senator Mum and Idris about me? Oh, that. You're an idiot. That's what I told him. And I also told him you're a cheap whore. We should not be entrusted with any serious contract. Yes, baby. Because I cannot have any non-starter poaching on my contracts in Abuja. So you think you're the only one who has the Abuja connection? Well, let me tell you something. I have bigger connections. And I have a lot more to offer than you ever will. What else do you have to offer than your filthy and bloated body? <laughs> now I can see how much you envy my beautiful body. <laughs> I'll continue to flaunt it. Because you know, you lock your own body in your wardrobe where you go hustling for your wild contrast, right? <laughs> Listen to me, you bitch! If you dare to insult me here again, I'll personally beat you up here and now. You think it's like before? I will lock up your eyes. You, Sophia. You! Uh oh. So all this is um, to show me that uh, you have uh, Bora and you have uh, hired some cheap folks. Sorry, you, my dear girl. You have not arrived yet. Mm. Bora is just one of my fleet. You can see I'd rather pass it. And I have so many others. And I don't hire cheap folks, baby. I use bodyguards. Talk. Really? You can say what you like. I've made my point. I'm going to let go. Come on, Zina. Leave the upstart. Let's go. Then you should mind your business. And I lost to do a job. Oh well, I just wanted to know what the guy said, that's all. So you mad that there was an armed robbery operation last night within the neighborhood? Goodness. This man fit into the description. You can see their guns. Shut up. So you better mind your business. Oh, yeah. Leave here. Shut up, yeah. Let's get you out of here.
Show me just how connected you are, you see? Oh boy, you saw Madame is too much for me. She just said the babe or big time. Big time. I've used my connections. I want to see you use yours. Fucking bitch. You are fucking damn fucking bitch! I'll show you! I'll show you! Must be keeping her. you're talking to. Listen, if you dare to insult my family again, I'll personally bitch you up and lock you up. Shut up! I will not lock you up! You think it's like a coffee? I don't know! 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 I
yourself. Get mother is to pay for this kind of commotion. Be sincere and I believe that she could handle and resolve this matter amicably. Stop this show of shame and embarrassment. I'm not this for. I sit down. What was it? What has come over you girls? Is this the training and the orientation I gave to you people? So much bitterness. Rancor and bickering amongst yourselves. <sighs> Sophia. Yes, ma'am. What's your case? <coughs> Thank you, Princess. Princess. Jennifer does all the contracts, yet she's not satisfied. Last month, I got a contract to supply all the girls to a senator's dinner party. I've concluded everything, only for Jennifer to go to Abuja and blackmail me. I lost the contract. Well. Three days ago, I met her on the way and asked her to leave me alone. Oh, you just less than nothing, less than a human being, to turn around, connive with the police, and arrest my bodyguards as I'm robbers. Princess, those boys are being tortured every day at Area X, and my evil kill them. Princess, Tell Jennifer to turn around, or else she will regret ever knowing Sophia. Jennifer, Princess, what do you have to say? Princess, this ship, bitch does not know her class. She is fond of messing up my hard-earned connections with her cheap materials and services. Well, I've been around, I mean, I've been around quite a while. If she wants to be like me, she will just have to learn what it takes to be Jennifer. Look at this animal! Who wants to be like a you. Instead of insulting a senior babe like Jennifer, will you shut your trap? Just look at this one. And what is your own in this matter, Caroline? Oh, you want a piece of the action? A piece of which action? Have you ever seen me bother myself with all this your connection stuff? Me, I did do my own thing, JJ. No shaking. You did do my own thing, JJ. And what is your own thing? Charms and concord. And so? Did you match up? Can you do it? <laughs> and what is so special about using Juju to catch a man and finish all his money? In any case, if I want to do any such nonsense, I'll do it in a bigger way with spy. It takes only a charming baby mm -hmm. like me <laughs> to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not an old cago like you. Look at this, this joint sensation talking to me. Look, you all take a small one. So you shut up and sit down. What the? Tell me! Tell me, Sophia! Tell me! Carol, what rubbish! Sister. Jennifer. Princess. Why did you sabotage her contract? Princess. Like I said earlier, I said that this cheap bitch is fond of messing with my heart on connections. The contract that she's weeping over. The minister concerned called me and he complained bitterly. He said that all the girls that Sophia supplied all had gonorrhea and syphilis. That's a gentleman. That's a lie. Shut your filled the trap. How is this thing? I mean, for crying out loud, 
am talking, you are talking. Imagine this cheap attachment talking to me. You're not even afraid of talking to me. And what's so special about this? Yes. Now, tell me, Jennifer, who among us did you bring to me? <laughs> Mansions are talking. Face me, I face you is talking. Sit down! Exploiter. Yes. Princess. Can everyone here just imagine this one, Sophia, double crossing me with her cheap thoughts on cooked men? Does one shooting into the air for nothing? All because she wants to be like me. Forcing herself to be like me. Forcing guy? You don't say. Look at who has cries. Refuse dog like you. Bloody fool. Nonsensical bitch. Listen, you are nothing but an empty bed. Me? Yes. Really? I am going to evaporate soon. <laughs> You think you have something? What do you have? I'll show you. Look at who you are. Shut up! Come in the back Look at you. Look at you. Money. I'll show you. You don't have money, Sophia. Money. money. Who are you? Money. You have a little money. When you see money, you will bow it. Come on. Come on. Bitch. Why are you running after my connections if you believe I don't have money? Oh, please. That's all right. This battle for supremacy is not necessary at all. The business world is large enough to accommodate everybody. Exactly. I trained you so that you can break the ranks of men and take over from them. Mm -hmm. I'm even looking forward to a day when one of you will vie for the presidency of this country. Me, ah. the president. Mm. <laughs> How do you achieve this? Tell me, how are you going to achieve that if you keep quarreling and fighting yourself? Tell me how. Sophia, that was absolutely wrong. You don't go about harassing people with guns. Anything could have happened. What do you need thoughts for? Attracting unnecessary attention to yourselves. Why? Jennifer, Jesus. you know how you got those boys arrested? Get them released. Like I said, the business world is large enough to accommodate everybody. Come on, be your sister's keepers. All right, princess. I'll release her criminals. To her. But as for making peace with this nincompoop, this nitwit, no way. In fact, I'm going to make sure that you never ever get a contract again in Abuja and even here in Lagos. Say I'm and I've been, I'm saying it, Sophia, you can do nothing. I'll do it. Sophia, you are behind me. Say, I'll tell you. Sophia, you are Wire. Only God knows where they'll end up. Oh, God. Aqua. Oh, Kuruma. Data. You who spot flies has no need of a horse whip. Now, why do you look so unhappy in the presence of Bokribo? But don't you know that I, I, Bokribo Kurumata, I dine and wine with the spirits. Now what's your problem? Baba, the medicine you gave me does not catch rich men. Oh. Only poor men with small money. Mm -hmm. Baba, I'm not happy at all. Oh, ta, ta, ta. Who's son, Tadiwe? 
ও কোন There is no smoke without fire. Mm. You, the gods, demand bigger sacrifice. You did not offer anything to the gods. Baba, but I give you the money you asked for. Oh. <laughs> money! Oh no! The gods demand bigger sacrifice. Never to marry. Never to live under any man. Marriage. Marriage. What do I need marriage for? When I can get anything on my own. Baba, I have pledged I will never get married. Oh, not so, daughter. <laughs> not so. <laughs> Now, take a look at yourself. Look at yourself and call yourself by name. Say exactly what you have just said. I, Caroline Okafo, will never get married. Akwaba! <laughs> it is done! It is done! <laughs> now you wait and see what will happen. Akwaba, who can do this? Hmm? Did you hear Okoroman. Oh, the cobra! <laughs> Don't I ask you who can withstand the cobra? Cobra? <laughs> Baba, how do you mean? <laughs> oh, the cobra! <laughs> Calm down, daughter. Calm down. <laughs> that is the symbol that our supplication has been accepted. Mm -hmm. The cobra is a symbol of temptation and it has never failed. <laughs> I'll quote on you. <laughs> now, you take this. Rub the substance on your eyelids whenever you're going out. When you see any man you like, just say cobra three times. And the man will follow you like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you want anything from him, if you ask him anything, he will answer you like, mm. If you want all his money, he will even borrow to satisfy you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Baba, just and like that? Just like that. Just like that, daughter. And when you're tired of the man, just do exactly what you have done. Rub the substance on your eyelids. The cobra will appear. The man will take to his heels. Hmm? You go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Make money in abundance. <laughs> the God that I book the God that I serve is suddenly behind you. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, Baba. Ah, go to me. Oh, go to me. Oh, go to me.
my meds. You can't remember me. It's way to the way. Sorry. Please. What's that name again? <laughs> I'm Caroline. Caroline. Oh. Carol the Angel. <laughs> That's exactly what they call me. Well, but you can just call me Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. Only let, let me have the keys. I want to get inside. What's, what's wrong with that? Um, oh, you're so pretty. So, can I have your card? Yes, so you I can call yeah. you some other time? Oliver, what a rubbish was that? How could you abandon me here for some inconsequential idiot? Don't know whom that girl is and you're here making noise. Me or Motola? Oliver, me or Motola making noise? Eh? Wonders will never end. Oliver, you surprised me. People like you were. Yeah. When I made that stupid decision to marry that of Motala. It's your decision, you know? Yes, it is my fault. I caused it. But I can change it. Change it? Yes. After all, I've only done introductions, not even traditional wedding. <laughs> because I can't understand why I will be married to a Motala. Where people like you are there. And I will be married to that girl. <laughs> Oh my god. You're a darling. <laughs> oh my god. So now let's get up to see us business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, who is there? So, you're so beautiful. Honestly. Thank you, Thank you so much. All my money. Really? <laughs> Can I have a joint account together? It doesn't matter, I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can say it's love at first sight. I don't care. I am comfortable with it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be about me? I am a big time importer, full time, and uh, you've done all this. Now come, let's go into it. Oh, let's take come it on. easy. You know, I need to be sure you truly love me, and that you can take good care of me. In that case, I want to spoil you a little. We see that jeep outside. I have a hundred and fifty thousand naira there. And then, it's for your shopping. <laughs> Gary, darling. Come on, let's go get it from your car now. 
Then you can have me for your dinner. Wholesale, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, Bray. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, good friends, well wishers, gentlemen of the press, today is a happy day for me. It's a day of fulfillment, a day of promise kept. Carol here has done good things in my life. Oh, yeah. She's a wonderful lady, a great companion. In fact, she makes my world go round. <laughs> Where the hell do you think you are going to? Jesus Christ. So this is true. How could Oliver do this to me? Madam, please respect yourself and leave. What are you talking about? Don't you know it's my fiance? Listen, madam. We have been instructed not to allow you into this arena. Instruction? What kind of instruction is that? Now, if both of you don't mind, excuse me, I want to go and see you. Hey, him. madam, get out. What is that? I am really sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for that rude interruption. Sometimes I wonder why some women are so selfish and jealous. When there is enough to go around, why should we want their address? Anyway, like I was saying, what we have here is a boutique and a beautiful car to move around. It is my little way of appreciating the good things that Carol has done for me. And I pray that this business will grow in lead and bound so that one day, Carol will be in position to dash me a car in Jesus' name. Amen. I must confess that I'm greatly overjoyed by this great achievement by one of my Amazons here, Carol. This is a result of hard work and dedication. And I would like this to be an example to other young ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, I would like this party to continue at my place, Princess Plaza. <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> Joshua, don't you have any job doing inside? I, I be think so you get a message when you are saying. Well, the message is for you to get lost and leave us alone. Okay. Tell me something. You said they need a virgin of 25 years and above. Yeah! A virgin of 25 years? <laughs> what for? You don't ask such questions. You ask how much are they willing to pay? They said one oba is about to die. But if he sleeps with a girl of 25 years, he will not only come back to life, he will leave for that number of years. They searched in their kingdom, couldn't find any girl, so they give out the contract and it stops secret. And um, what happens to the girl afterwards? Katie, Katie, oh. why are you there ask no kind of question? Don't mind me. How much is the contract worth? Three million naira. What? Sophie, what did you say? And I'll get a girl fast. Here in Lagos! Don't ah. be ridiculous, though. A virgin of 25 years? Here in Lagos? Why not? <laughs> <clears throat> A virgin of 25 years? 
in Lagos is either a norm or an imbecile. Even the imbecile these days all carry pregnancy. Oh, don't be pessimistic. Hey, oh. You think everybody got sports like me and you are 10? <laughs> Let's begin the hammer the guys are saying. Listen, listen, listen. See, Mommy Sophie. Eh? Have I failed many contracts before? I trust you. See, we can't and we will get a virgin of 25 years if we go about it the right way. I'll arrange it. Three million naira is too much money to be wished away. Honestly, honest. And top secret. I'm big. Let's drink in celebration of the million that is coming in soon. For the millionaire, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hands off that virgin girl contract with immediate effect. Who is this and what are nonsense are you talking about? I am the one who must be obeyed. And I repeat, bitch, hands off that virgin girl contract now. <laughs> what is your fucking business in that contract? And how did you get to know? You sniffing snivel dog. That business is my business. So, it is out of your small time range. Hands up, bitch, or you'll be sorry. I can see you enjoy talking with me. But sorry. Enjoy talking with a devil, dirty bitch. So why don't you... Hmm? Stop insulting your old self and drop the goddamn phone, bitch. When you sell it, I come and say, make I give you this password. Okay. Could you get out of my sight? What is it? I know all your drug dealings. You ought to be rotten in jail with those guys in the photograph. I know how you escaped. But I can easily take you back there. The drug boss is my friend. I'm sure you don't know that. For the last time, drop the virgin girl contract. Missy Lena, 
Lady Trini, are you ready to hand off the contract now? <laughs> Good. You are now thinking. Now listen to your orders. Call your source and tell them the contract has been transferred. My contacts are already searching and I, unlike you, cannot fail. Meanwhile, the price is now five million naira. They have no choice or their other will die. Live in the jungle. Very sure you will enjoy your stay with her. Did you find her? Oh, come on, never mind that. Business, secret. And you're sure she's a virgin? Absolutely. You see, someone tried to rape her when she was 19 years old. Since then, she's scared as hell. To her, men are equal to devils. Besides, church is her second home. <laughs> and she told you all that? Uh, not directly. Through my contacts. How did you convince her to come here oh, with you? Very simple. I told her a group of Christian religious organization from America is looking for adults who have kept their chastity, like hers, as a good example to the young ones. They will speak to a group of young people on virtues of keeping a lady's honor and virginity until marriage. That is smart. Thank you very much. But actually, it wasn't easy at first. And she was afraid of speaking to a crowd of people. But when big money was mentioned, she changed her mind. You mean even people who want to go to heaven care about big money? Surprise. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Mm. Now, what's our account looking like? Actually, it wasn't easy at all. I ran short of money 
I had to borrow to make up. What? 500,000 Naira? Oh, come on, Bobby. Finished? Oh, come on, Mama. You have no idea what I went through. See, I have already given her, the Virgin, 150,000 Naira. And um, 200,000 Naira. I expended on my contacts. And it's okay, it's other okay. huge don't, expenses. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. okay. You've really done a good job. Thank you very much. I want you to know that that thing sitting there is what millions to me. I know. I know. <laughs> now, this is the deal. I told her the program is for tomorrow. That you are their representative here in Nigeria. So, you better get gone again right now. <laughs> I'll be waiting downstairs. One more thing. You are Sister Good Luck. I am Brother Matthew. Ooh, Don't forget. That's something. <laughs> Sorry, I wasted time. Don't worry. Sister will soon be with you. Okay. Thank you. Here she comes. Good evening, Brother Matthew. Good evening, Sister. Good evening, Sister. Oh, good evening, Miss... Uh... Oh, Miss Rita. Oh, Miss Rita. Yes. <laughs> Miss Rita, you are blessed. It's so nice to know that people like you still exist in this sinful world of ours. It's so nice to know that there's still hope. Oh, Brother Matthew, don't you think so? Very, very true. That there is still hope for children of our Lord. Sister, please, feel at home. This is your home. Tomorrow is the conference at the Charlatan Hotels. And later this evening, I would like us to go through some Bible texts so that we can be well prepared for the conference. Just yeah. hold on, let us just hold it. Yes, let us bless the profession. Our Lord and our God, we praise you we thank you for this wonderful provision and we thank you for sister rita we thank you for our life father receive this provision in jesus name amen, amen. please serve sister rita first which one would you prefer sister rita i'll make do with the cook
good luck. I have something for you. I'm coming. out of Abuja. What? I'm putting contract jobs out together. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do this. Chilipa would think she has what? That's the bitch has won. Huh? That's as far as Abuja connections and contracts are concerned. But she has not defeated me. Never! Not in this lifetime. See, I, I need, I need quick business. I need, I need money. I've suffered enough humiliation. In the hands of that bitch, that motherfucking pussy! I... But with big money. I have better connections. And weapons to finish her in this city. You know what it say. Mm. Money talks. Bullshit walks. You're right. You're right. But, I mean, I'm wondering what kind of business you intend to go into. The business that can give as much money as contract. Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm toying with a lot of ideas. When I arrive at the best one, I'll let you know. Hmm? So, what happens to all your connections in Abuja? Well, I'm handing them over to you. Huh? Yeah. I can't <laughs> believe this. Yeah, do whatever you want with them. I don't care what profits you make. As for me, I need big money. Big money. I need to change my line of business. One Jennifer doesn't know nothing about. One that I will be master in. So that I can match her one on one. Money for money. Power for power. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> yeah, I do. All right. Take care. Bye. So I got to run, run, run. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Bye bye. Aki dingo bumu, ikana kana shoki dogi do iki ni hirara, ipapai, ipapai, kere ke hiya bai. You want money, plenty of money, yes, and power. Yes sir. Umbara mana che, na che kochega, ukume duge, ukume duge, unchaji kochega, imburu mola diya. I am he who travels the seven deadly seas and the seven deadly forests and came out uncutted. And when Ajagrigwe confronted me, I strangled him and used his head to drink palm wine. <laughs> My daughter, what you are asking for is easy matter, but the cost is heavy. I can pay anything, I'll pay anything, I'll do anything. Ha 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 be ready to surrender your life in the next 20 years. Oh no, Baba, I don't want to die yet. Please, no. Can we find any other alternative, please? Guru could me here, I know. Guru could me here, I know. I could be here, I know. I could be here, I know. I could be here, I know. Hmm, two heads. Yes. Two heads. Provide me two heads. A husband and his wife. And the sacrifice will be performed. I'll get them. There's nothing I won't do to accomplish my mission. I'll get them, Baba. Good. Now, the God require of you five. 20 naira notes. Only five 20 naira notes. And when I do one of them, when I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. When I do one of them, I do one of them. Now you can go. Thank you. Come back in seven days time with the husband and his wife. Yes, ma'am. Live in the jungle where there's a constant struggle. Count my daughter. Count for your forehead. Pound to your wealth. Pound to your wealth. Pound. Pound them to your wealth, to your fortune, to your pain.
It's all right, my daughter. You are a strong woman. It is the fruit of your labor. This fortifies you for the great job ahead. No, 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 you won't. You won't. <laughs> My daughter, you won't devour me. Take this. You will drink this for one month, every day, <gasps> fasting in the morning. You must not ever eat okro soup. Yes, my favorite soup. No, no more. And after one month, you will come back here for the object of death, <sighs> which will fully prepare you for your great mission. Do you understand, my daughter? You won't. No, you won't. Thank <laughs> you. 
Prepare for my august visitor. This is June, don't forget. Yes, I know. My august visitor in June. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I receive an invitation to come for a function in Lagos, I never reject it because I know with you it's always fun. <laughs> Chief. Yes. So, listen, girl. Why don't you relocate to Abuja? Ah, Abuja. Hmm? Uh, you know, Chief. I feel strange in Abuja. Did you? Yes, I don't feel comfortable in Abuja. This place is more like home. You can say that again. I can feel it. So. Yes, dear. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Are you spending the night? <sighs> My room at Sheraton Hotel is empty and wasting. Oh, okay. So, do we go over there then? No, 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 no. This will be home. I feel at home here. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Let me touch you. Let me touch you. <laughs> so how are you? You know some things I told you last time I came. I, I told you that I will always come and stay with you anytime I come to Lagos. Yes. You understand? Yes. How do you feel, man? How do you like the food, Senator? Super, they special all round. <laughs> of course. What do you expect? The chairman of the Senate Committee on Petroleum deserves nothing else but something super special. <laughs> and by the year 2007, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Tisha Amen! <laughs> Sweetheart, I have a special place for you when I become the president. Hmm. Why do you learn to cook so well? I do it only for you, oh. Senator, just you. I love you, darling. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you, Senator. I have the bed ready for you. Chief, uh -huh. your people haven't paid me for my uh -huh. for my last supply, the one I made last month. Uh, not to worry, girl. When the budget is approved, you'll be the first to be paid. Chief. Maybe you are good. Chief. Uh -huh. You know, there's something that's been bothering me. Oh, what is this girl? What is it? Tell him what is it now? Money? No. Chief, this is cousin of mine. Oh. He has um, new ideas and ways of exploring crude oil. Yes, and he studied petroleum engineering. He's been dying to see you. Desperately wants to see you. How good is this idea? Chief, it's hot. Believe me. 
real hurt. You know, he he wrote first class in school. Chief, you won't be disappointed. Alright, alright. Uh, ask him to see me Monday morning at eleven thirty in the office. I'll give you the usual card for him, okay? Oh Chief, come on. Oh Chief, come on. You remain a darling to me. Let me tell you something. Sister, what's the meaning of all this? I mean, can somebody tell me what's happening here? What have I done to deserve all this? Shut your stupid mouth. Sister, my foot. So. You actually thought you could play a fast one on me, eh? What do you mean play a fast one on you? What do you mean play a fast one on you? Shut up! You plan to abscond with my 12 million naira? Look at this idiot. I followed your every move. How you convinced them to pay the money directly into your own account. Your desperate visa moves. Everything. You. You plan to fly to New York tonight? On the Trans-American airline? True or false? Talk to me. You, you know, I... I, ne I never liked relatives around my business. But I sort of liked you. Sister, I'm very sorry. It will never happen again. It was all the work of the devil. Sorry. Hello? You're speaking. Get up your ass, man. What absolute nonsense are you talking about? Listen to me, Mr. Lemma, or whatever your name is. My contract with you is to make it possible for you to see the senator, Senator Brendan Gogo. And my contract with you expired the moment that you were ushered into the senator's office and you came face to face with him. Whether you were able to present your proposal or not is none of my business. I don't care. No, I don't care. Now listen to me, man. Listen! I give you 24 hours to pay the balance of 250,000 Naira into my account. That's our agreement. Now if you fail, I'll take it that you want my trouble. And I'll give it to you full dose. You hear me? Thank you and have a nice day. So, where is the rest of the money? Oh, I swear. It's right here in my pocket. How much is this? Hundred thousand dollars. Now, I want you. Yes, what is it? Who is there? What does he want? Oh my God. Um, just hold on, hold on a minute. Now, uh, take this idiot. Take him out of my office. Go and lock him up in the guardroom until I decide what I want to do with him. Get out. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't take him through the reception. Take him through the other exit. <laughs> Now, you, don't you ever address him as that man. He is my fiancé, my husband. Right? Now, tell him to come in. Hello, honey. 
Oh, you look really nice. You look really good. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I miss you. I miss you too, honey. God, I'm so glad I came back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God. So, tell me, when did you get in? Yeah, I came in this morning from London. London? Yeah. I thought you called me last week from California. Oh yes, I left California two days later, you know, to do some business in London. I'm from London to Lagos to see my queen. <laughs> you look super. Oh, there's so much that I want to tell you. Really? You won't believe who I ran into in London. Really? Oh, wait till I tell you. Okay, you know what? Let's yeah. go somewhere, you know, where we can be all by ourselves. Okay. And then I'll just tell you all of it. And I have a package for you. Everywhere for you, Oliver. Where have you been? Michael, what is the problem? What is the problem? A man says he doesn't want you anymore. Is it by force? Oliver, <laughs> can't you see this girl has wrecked you? For three months now, you haven't traveled. Look at you. Her business is booming and yours is collapsing. Is it your business that my business is not moving and her own is frozen? Anyway. Nothing has happened to my business. What I did was to transfer the management to my super girl. Thank you. Your super girl? Oliver, look at you. Where are your cars? Your electronics? They're all gone. Just take a look at yourself, Oliver. Walking about on foot. And you have refused to listen to anybody. Oliver, not even your brothers and sisters. Only not even me or Motola. Me or Motola. I never knew you are such a jealous and a stubborn person. Look, Karo and, and I are one and the same. So if my property is with her, then it's like that. Can't you understand simple logic? Sweetheart, this is not ordinary. That girl has used a spell on you. See, I'll be coming here tomorrow with my pastor. He's a very powerful man of God. He will break and destroy whatever spell that girl has used on you. And sweetheart, you will come back to your normal sense. Please, don't say no. Please. Shut up. Shut Holy up. Huh? Oh, you think you think you can hoodwink me with all those your your pastors and your fake miracles and prophecies? Look, you have misfired. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Mm -hmm. eh? You think you can just move me around with all those nonsense? Now get out of this place! I thought you can have time for this nonsense you're doing. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Get out of this place, my friend. Oliver, you, you can't do this to me now, Oliver. Oliver. Oliver, how could you do this to me? Oliver, me! Oh my God! God, please help me. The object is ready, waiting to be picked up. Oh, did it work? Oh, did it work? Oh, did it work?
Oh, miracle. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah. Come right in. Bye, honey. That is bad. That is home. Yeah. Hi, mommy. So fine. Come on. Oh, kiss me. I know I came late. Ah. Nothing's <coughs> work. Wow. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Quite busy today. I hope my my favorite. Yeah. Guess what? What? <laughs> Mr. table soup with some Let's go right now. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh. oh, I don't want to answer call. Let's wait for daddy. Oh. Oh. Hello? Who is this? Mm -hmm. Uh, Ruben. Mm -hmm. Honey, who was that? Sweetheart. Yeah. Somebody just came in from China and uh, he has a message for me from uh, Chang Wei. You remember that man who yes, was manufacturing right. juice products in yeah. my name? I have to see him now. And why not go tomorrow morning? It's night already. You just came in and you want to go back again. This man is flying back tomorrow morning. Look, don't worry. I'll be back very soon. I promise. Hmm? That's what you normally say. You go there and wait all the whole time. Alright, just try me out this time and see if I'm a man who lives by his words or not. Hmm? I'm going to finish your vegetable soup if you didn't come back early. I'll be back early. Mimi should be on bed. Okay. And I please buy breakfast. Okay. Bye, honey. Mmm. Mmm. She went to bed. Yeah. Go to bed. Fine. 